Welcome to Dosta. I'm Sorry. Same as the last video, I'm going to show you guys my personal top 5 booth in Virtual Museum B. Let's go. Dosta. Number 5. Udonya. This booth is functionalized for indie creators as they display 10 different avatars by 10 different artists. And you can try on some of them. They cover assorted avatars with fancy, casual, stylish, etc. It seems variety, but if there is male or inhumanoid avatar, that will be more diverse, in my opinion. Number 4. Be honest. The ad design is brilliant. When you're in Japan, the type of advertisement everywhere in Japanese supermarket. I see decent believable quality of the package on the bottle of Japanese barbecue sauce, tomato sauce, wasabi, and so on. It's very fun to play with those bottles. They also display some food. Cabbage, tube-shaped fish paste cake, deep fried shrimp, and rice bowl. The most models can be played with the gimmick. Number 3. Neko Koya. No sci-fi, no fantasy, no superpower, no magic. It's just an active cheerleader avatar. But it's so impressive. You know why? Hey, what are you looking at? Number 2. Otoki Banashi. Nicely stylized booth with the dark grey background and blue lines. well made animated objects are entertaining. It's like a Apple store meets the opening scene of Ghost in the Shell. And this one, various weapon meets smartphone and tablet. Handy practical tool is always compelling, even in VR world. I've never seen this kind of avatar in VR chat. The head part reflects the environment's lights like a mirror. When I wore this avatar, I felt some kind of powerlessness but also calmness. It showed me that shapes and symbols are good enough to tell things. Number 1. Let's go. You must come and visit this booth as I can't recommend enough by my word and these pictures. This is a great example how we use 3D space to show your creation effectively and efficiently. I can find the story behind the design of the avatars from its posture and individual facial expressions. This avatar is absolutely gorgeous in every single detail. Exotic outfit and the choice of materials and its decoration assist her cheerful and energetic mood productively. Skin tone is formed beautifully and her hair moves nicely. The concept color of fire, orange and red, implies in which she is warm but untouchable. I was so excited when I wore this avatar and I couldn't stop hopping. I was forced to do that from its quality, not that quantity. In case the appearance of a character description is done well, we don't need to explain about background of the character. What if we have additional animalistic tail and ears to show emotional condition? Here is an announcer. The avatar achieved the most convincing expression to tell feelings I've ever seen in my perspective. Maybe we all should have the ears as a device to amplify emotion in the right way, and maybe that would help pushing up our communication level. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like it, please give us a comment and subscribe our channel. See you in next video.